guys, you're watching 1700 with Sam and we're at the Face the Music conference for 2012 and I'm very excited to introduce my next guest, Jane Gazzo from Max. How are you doing? Good, Sam. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Thanks for joining us. No or problem. joining me. <laughs> um, now, you've just wrapped up your first session of the workshop, The Art of Speaking uh, to the Media. Uh, just for those at home who aren't able to be at the conference today, can you just give us a little bit of a rundown of what you spoke about? Yeah, um, I hosted a panel mostly for musicians and artists on the best way to approach interviews. I mean, artists get asked to be interviewed all the time and some of them are quite terrified about it and some of them, you know, come away thinking, oh, I shouldn't have said that or um, oh, I didn't know how to answer that question. So the panel was basically just to give them some tips and pointers um, you can never stop nerves in interviews, mm. I'm afraid, so I couldn't help that. But, um, <laughs> you know, just, just to make them feel a bit more confident when approaching an interview, whether it be for print, TV, website uh, or, or, um, or radio. Yeah, and I was able to go to a little bit of it. It was very, very insightful. And I've got, I've got a few questions. Sure. Um, so say you're a uh, budding musician and you've just kind of uploaded your work to Unearth unearthed sorry and you've got no real media training you've secured your first sort of proper interview what's some advice just so that bands can kind of have their first ensure a first good interview um, the basics i uh, just try and try and approach it not so much as an interview but more as a chat you know think about it as a good conversation i mean ultimately if you are being asked to in be interviewed the journalist like would like you you know yeah. so um and wants to find out more about you um and look there's no right or wrong answers in being interviewed, you know, so, you know, bands can make up anything they want or be anybody that they want to be kind of thing. So um, I just I just tell them just to go and enjoy it and have fun and just look at it as a, as a PR exercise because a good interview is good PR. A bad interview will probably make the journalist never want to speak to them ever again. That's right, and you've probably got heaps more interviews coming up so you can kind of practice. You know, first one may not be so good, but you can kind of work your way up. Yeah, and it, yeah, it is a learning curve, and yeah, and yeah but you know, it's a fun one. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoy it. <laughs> so you went through some don'ts, like questions that should never be asked, and luckily, you know, we've kind of at sin been instilled with these sort of questions that do never ask these. Do you just want to kind of go through some of those? Um, it wasn't so much don't ever ask these questions, it was more like these are the questions you will probably probably nine times out of ten be asked in an interview. How did you get your band name? How would you describe your sound? How? What's the music making process? When's your next gig? I mean these are all ultimately um, for a lot of journalists generic starting questions. out, they're generic questions and unfortunately you know, at some point in a band's career, whether they're just starting out or, you know, even down the line, they will be asked them by lazy journalists, yes. I will say. Um, but, I mean, look, you know, I, I still even ask a few of them now. Yeah. But it's just a, a, it's just knowing what the most common questions are that, that are being asked and having an answer for them. Yeah, so just kind of just knowing how to prepare for the kind of yeah, a few questions. Yeah, to have an answer, you know, because, you, you know, but when, when bands get asked, oh, how would you describe your sound? You know, you can kind of see the, the collective rolling of the eyes, like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, so having a, having a funny answer, you know, something like, I think one of the funniest answers I heard was, you know, the sound of 17 toilets flushing <laughs> in, in unison. You know, something like yeah, that. Yeah, It's just, it breaks it up. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so what are some common errors that bands make when they're being interviewed that they should try and avoid? Um, I, I really hate the cocky bands, the, the, the bands that kind of look down at their feet, they're not really interested in you um, or being interviewed. Um, the bands that turn up late, yes. they're, um, yeah, I don't really, you know, it's my time you're wasting and, and, and the media outlet's time. Um, are the bands that think they've got something to prove? Or, you know, they might, they might look at a female interviewer and go, well, I bet you she knows nothing about me. Um, I'm going to give her a hard time just because I can or something. Is that when you pull in like super hard questions or just something, I don't know, like something to kind of get back at them? Or? Um, I usually pull the interview oh, very really? quickly. Yeah, The go. band's not playing ball with me and by that I mean if they're just being complete assholes or dicks. I just go, well, thanks for your time, guys. <laughs> Great talking to you. What, is that all? Is that all? It's like... I think that's I'm not going to waste comeback. my time. Yeah, no, that's yeah, great. So. What's some advice for bands that are, say, a little bit tired or unwilling to talk? You are talking uh, about <laughs> earlier about Pinyao. Yeah, I was, wasn't I? <laughs> um, hell, 
you know, if you're too hungover to do the interview, don't do the interview. Yeah. Um, cancel it. It's probably it's going to be work out better for everyone um, rather than getting half ar- a half-assed version of yeah. yourself. Cool. I think that's some great advice there. So, you know, bands obviously kind of come out with an agenda. They want to promote a tour or a yeah. single. but And so you've got to obviously cover those questions. But how can we cover those questions as well as sort of getting, you know, some more insightful, interesting things about the band as well? Is there a way to kind of do both? Well, hell yeah. Um, do your research. <laughs> yeah. As a journalist, you should always do your research. And by that, I mean don't look at the Wikipedia page. Yeah. Go further beyond the Wikipedia page. Go and listen to some interviews they've done. Go and read other interviews they've done on other websites. Sites, um, listen to their music, yeah. read the lyric sheet in the book. Um, a good journalist will will cover all those bases, but not only that, they'll listen to what the answers. Yeah. Because nine times out of ten, you can find out a lot by just listening to somebody, and instead of wondering what my next question is that I'm going to ask the band, and not listening to the answer try and hear those nuggets you know they might drop in something about yeah and my mum really loved the album oh your mum's a fan of the band tell me about that I you know you may not have prepared for the fact that you know, that the mum's a big fan like, yeah he mentions his mum in an interview and you're kind of like oh okay and your dad as well like what are the fan what is do you know what I mean it's yeah. just it's you know, 90% of it is listening. Otherwise, you'll be missing out on some gold. Like, exactly. Yeah, because if you just kind of focus strict to what you've got, definitely yeah. you'll be missing out on something really yeah. critical that you can. I usually bring write out. up a set of questions and, um, and yeah, I discard yeah. them um, yeah. pretty much before the interview starts. True. I'll right. use them as a blueprint, but yeah, yeah I'll listen. As well. Cool. Now, you've had you've had a really extensive CV. Um, you've worked, you know, Triple J, Triple R, over in the BBC, Channel V, and now at Max. Um, and you've done heaps of interviews. What's your most memorable interview yourself? Probably Noel Gallagher from Oasis, yeah. just because he was an incredible talker. Yeah. Couldn't shut him up, and that's always <laughs> that always works well for TV. Um, gave a, gave a, it, it was an interview that where he brought me into his home life and family life, and it's a side of Noel Gallagher that you know you don't read a lot about in you know your mojos or your Q magazines, yeah. uh, or on the website. So you know he gave a lot of insight and he felt comfortable doing that yeah. and it's getting that rapport with him to to make him talk tell me about his wife and his kids and how his kids make a racket at tea time and you know stuff like that so oh, that's good yeah that's something that really springs to mind that's great awesome. great interviewee um so, all right so what have you got on next for today for face the music uh a listening panel i'm going to be listening to a moderating um a whole bunch of demos that all these bands ah, here have submitted, so we don't know who they are. That's cool. Or, Scott Horscroft's doing it as well, who yeah. I'll be speaking to later. He'll and he on the panel. is probably one of the best A&R men and producers in this country. Yeah. So, yes. Oh, cool. A fine, fine set of years. Hopefully you'll find some great next Aussie artists, I guess. Yeah. Um, all right, so I've got to ask the question. You're the queen of interviewing. Oh, God, and please. No, no, I feel privileged <laughs> to talk to you, but how did, I, how did I go interviewing you? Oh, brilliantly. You did your research. Thank um, you. So, yeah, big tick for that. Um, <laughs> You know where I'd worked before, so that's very, very good. Um, yeah, you've got a great style about you. You've got a great look. That always helps. Very approachable. <laughs> so, yeah, um, give this girl a job. All right. Thanks, Jane. That's, that's a good endorsement. Just keep that on my uh, CV, please. All right. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much. Lovely to meet you, Sam. You too. Thank All you, right. Jane. Cheers, See you guys. Oh, that's 1700.